old dogs, rolls and rolls of fat on their face. I'm on a landscape page, pencil eraser, hip pause, we go too fast. We're gonna start with his big round brown eyes. So center point here, come up over to the right, start with a big curb line. Down the back. Kind of spiky in the corner. And then it comes back underneath and towards the nose. And kind of black and spiky down here as well. Okay, so that's the shape for his eye. And then the big round brown eye touches the bottom there, comes out the other side. And then color black around like that. So we got a pupil inside there. So big round black pupil again. So we'll go touching sort of the top here. And Bulldog's kind of, their eyes aren't like proportional or what would I say? Kind of like, they kind of look like they're cross-eyed a bit. And I'm gonna color this black, but what I'm gonna do is like leave a bit of a highlight somewhere. So I think I'm gonna leave like a little white line there and the rest will be black. And then what you can do is add a little shadow, like some hatching just underneath, just these kind of like broken kind of crisscross lines. Just makes it look a bit more interesting, I think. So then he's got like little eyelid lines, right? So lines that come along top skin there are the eyes and down underneath here okay right and then so eyebrows and different rolls of fat and stuff so he's got like these big fat eyelids basically coming around here like textures on them as well. Got like more rolls and fat sort of cheekbones and stuff there. So the eyes are like really far apart. So I'd say like you'd fit maybe one, two, three eyes nearly across. One, two, three, maybe like two and a half. Yeah, just nearly under three, maybe. So we'll go, they're really far apart. I'll go here, see how that looks. Yeah, so they're about that far apart. Okay, about three eyes, three eye widths. And then you do a big curve line over again. Same shape again, so kind of spiky at the back. And then we'll bring it down around into the front like that and they don't have to be the exact same you're looking for a general shape like that and then those big brown eyes right so same thing again color black around and then the big iris pupil, <laughs> iris, not iris. And then I'll leave a highlight on the left-hand side again, and then color that black. So then some hatching, just to give it a bit of shadow underneath the eye. And then we're gonna add a little detail stuff around, so eyelid lines, like that. And then like a big round eye bump sort of a thing. Same as the other side. Broken lines like that. And then we have that sort of cheekbone sort of thing there as well. So the nose is like real close to eye level. Okay, and then we got like rolls of skin 
and stuff all coming over the face. So like, say like, okay, we'll go underneath the eye, right? And we'll go this bumpy sort of fat line. No offense, Mr. Bulldog. It come out around here. Down the other side, right? So his nose will be like in here. That's really big. So we'll go. Across here, okay? And then we have nostrils. So we, got, we curve it around like that. And then we got like a black hole inside. So in the bottom section, so it's like another little curved line here, and then it like wrinkly bumps down to a spike in the middle. And then it wrinkly bumps back up the other way. Technical term, wrinkly bumps. Right, and then we have a line up the middle. And like some more sort of textured lines and stuff. Okay. Some texture like that. So then this comes down for his top lip. And then this comes like hangs down real loose, saggy, jowly skin, right? So it comes down all around here. Carves around, back up, sort of into there, right? Same thing on this side. About the same level. It doesn't have to be perfect because his skin is all wrinkly in different places. Okay, so we're going to add some details inside here now, and like maybe the odd whisker and stuff, right? So this is basically like folds, like of fat, right, and like fur and blubber and everything. Pumping and coming around here. Right, I'll go back up to towards his nose as well. To like the corner here. then you might have some like whisker dots every now and then on the skin and little bits of texture and stuff and maybe like like you know like little whiskers that stick off They're not like full blown whiskers, but you know, the little sort of things like that. So then we have like a lip section, right? So we've got like a bit of a shadow here. Depends on how open you want to do his mouth. Put a little shadow. And then we'll do like a downturn sort of mouth lip there. And then this has skin and wrinkles and all coming around here so basically it comes out from like his jaw again this sort of wrinkly stuff again Like 
that, right? And then we've got like the bits of his neck. So he's got like fat sort of neck stuff coming down. So we get his head in, so a big round dog head, look at round. Okay, and then his shoulders kind of come off this way. So, um, more wrinkles on his face as well. So coming, sort of coming around the eyes and stuff, the forehead, and then we got to get ears in, right? So, so say here, right? So we're gonna start doing these kind of big, sort of eyebrow shapes that he has. Coming around here. Big wrinkly sort of head. And then like all coming up here as well. Okay, and then these seem to like fold around his eyes and everything. So like down this way, we've got like some bumps that come around his cheeks and all down here. stuff in the middle here he keeps sort of folding around his like forehead lots of these seem to just overlap one another sort of over and over and over again yeah, this kind of thing on them. Okay, so let's see about ears. So this sort of part of his head bumps all up around, right? Top of his head and ears. So it's all like blubbery and bumpy and maybe a bit like furry maybe in parts, but then mostly like smooth bumping lines just there and then his ears will sort of flop over right so they'll come out from here down like that and around there and they'll kind of curve around back into his head here and then we have like a little furry section there you could have sort of edge lines to the to the ears there and then like, you know, like bits of fur just in there, but then around sort of like ear lines just. Inside that and then just basically shadow in there then. This is like skin, like folded sort of roundy skin just underneath there. 
and then we'll go same thing on this side. Nice sort of flopping down here and then comes back around like so. And then maybe like hairy sort of ear section just here. And then like, it's like fur, but looks like pink skin as well. So it's kind of like these sort of ear lines that kind of fold around one another. There. And then we have some more sort of roundy bumpy lines on his head. It's coming around like this. Like so. Nice. And you could have like some hairs and stuff coming off the side of the face, some extra texture lines. Boom. Texture lines on the fur. Right, but I think that'll do. That is how to draw a bulldog. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.